Hi, Leah at my sewing room here. Today we're going to be working on a Bernina 570 and I'm going to show you a little bit about the screen interface and what you can change as well as selecting stitches. The main home screen on your Bernina 570 is going to give you lots of information as to what is going on. I'm just going to turn the machine off and back on and show you where it will start when you first turn it on. Your Bernina takes a minute to wake up. Just be patient, it will come on. And as the machine starts, you may notice some noise. We affectionately call those noises the Bernina burp. That's just all the motors in your machine uh, finding their homing position as, as the machine turns on. When you first start sewing on your machine, or first get your machine, you might wonder what all this stuff on screen is. Your very first option in the top left hand corner is your thread tension. Selecting this um, will allow you to get into your tension settings and adjust them up or down as needed. Each stitch has its own default tension. To get out of any screen like this, just press the X in the top left right hand corner. The next option down is the presser foot selection. On some models, specifically the 570 and upwards, you are able to tell it exactly what foot your machine has on. Based on the stitch you're using, you may have a star next to it as a recommended foot for the stitch you're using. So I'm actually just using a num, I actually have a number one C on the machine and it'll change to whatever you have it set at. This will help keep you safe as you change in and out of different presser feet. Your next icon down is presser foot pressure. Presser foot pressure can be adjusted to help you manage things like knits that are gonna squeeze out like a jam sandwich if you push on them too hard. And also, you can change things at will. You also have needle plate selection and needle selection. The default needle plate on this machine is the nine millimeter plate. There's also a 5.5 millimeter plate, a zero millimeter plate, a punch needle plate, and a cut work plate. If you're doing straight stitch in piecing uh, or sewing, uh, embroidery, or free motion quilting, that cut work plate might be the plate you need. If you change your plate out, tell the machine what plate you've put on by selecting the icon and it will change. And if it's changed from default, it'll show up yellow over here. You're also able to tell it if you put a specialty needle in your machine, something like a twin needle. You want to keep your machine safe by telling it what you've got going on and it won't let you do something crazy like sew with a twin needle and a straight stitch plate that don't work together. Your machine will give you big error messages. So just let it know every time you change something and it will keep you out of trouble. The fifth thing down here is showing whether your feed dogs are up or down. For regular sewing your feed dogs will be up as indicated by the little bumpy lines above the line. If your feed dogs are dropped for something like free motion quilting or embroidery, the little zigzag line will show up below the straight line. And the very last icon there is actually a picture of your bobbin. So this machine is equipped with a bobbin sensor and it will flash at you when the bobbin's getting low. These hooks, uh, the bobbins on this machine are really big. It might flash for quite a while before you notice and you have a lot of thread left sometimes. So you can sew right till you're empty and then it will tell you that you're out. You also have the selection of whether your needle is stopping up or down. If the needle is above the line, the needle is going to stop all the way in the upmost position. If that needle is shown below the line, the needle is going to stop all the way down, which allows for things like pivoting easily. This icon here will show you your stitch length. Your stitch length is controlled with the lower knob. You can go all the way up to six millimeters in that straight stitch as indicated there or all the way down. 
and the default in straight stitch is 2.5. You're also able to change the width of this stitch. On a straight stitch, changing the width will turn it into a zigzag. So just be careful changing that width if you're trying to sew straight. Finally, the icons, the buttons below the knobs are your needle position left and right. On this machine with uh, nine millimeter feed dogs, there's a nine millimeter width and 11 needle positions that you can use. So you can move the needle all the way to the left or all the way to the right. And it'll show you that position is minus, minus one minus to minus five going to the left and plus one to plus five going to the right. You might need to do this for something like a more accurate seam allowance or a specialty foot like a zipper foot. In the Bernina workbook, uh, stitches that you need to select are often referred to as programs. Uh, in, in one exercise, they ask you to find securing program number one. That really just means find stitch number one. It'll be highlighted in white if that's the stitch selected. If they ask you to find securing program number five, they're actually looking for stitch number five. Just keep that in mind as you're using this workbook. You're able to navigate through all the stitches on your machine in two different ways. Your first folder up here is indicated by the straight and the zigzag line is a whole folder of your utility stitches. You can scroll through this to look at all the stitches. You can also press on screen with that little triangle and open this out into a bigger menu. You're still able to scroll, but you can see more at once. And you can drop that back using that little arrow again. Your next set of stitches is your decorative stitches. A fancy wiggly line over here. Each of these is a folder with more stitches. Again, you can scroll in here to view all these stitches or use that arrow to toggle out for larger view. And again, using the breadcrumbs, you can go back a folder. Lots and lots of decorative stitches on this little machine. My favorite stitch is that one there. <laughs> uh, your lettering and your fonts built into your machine are under the A, and lots of options there as well. You also have buttonhole stitches, and quilt, quilting stitches are as indicated by the quilt block. There's some fun new options in there as well. There's also the option to save stitches. That's an entire different lesson. On this machine, to get into your user settings, you'll need to go to the home icon, and then you'll find your gear symbol, as talked about in a different video. You also have a great function on screen, your question mark. If you're not sure what something on screen means or what it might be used for, select the question mark, and then select the icon that you're confused about. It'll give you a summary and suggestions of where you might use that function. So again, question mark and select. Great way to navigate. Your last option, if you know the number of the stitch you want to use, you're also able to use the search icon located in the top of the screen and type in that number. My favorite stitch, is 914. It'll allow you to go there and when you X out of that screen it'll show up in the menu where it's located.